Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. We are going to install this SNB cold air intake into my 2021 GMC Sierra AT4. It has the 6.2 liter. We want to make it breathe a little better and make it a little more efficient. So we'll be doing that install today. I did install a K&N intake into my wife's uh, 2016 Cadillac Escalade, which has the same motor. And the results on that one were better throttle response and a little more throaty of a sound uh, when you pin it. So let's unbox this, have a closer look at the parts, and then we'll do some before footage. Do not skip steps one to five on the installation instructions. We've been warned. Okay, we got a nice rubber gasket. We have another gasket. The tube. We've got all our connectors, all these goodies. We've got our extension for the sensor. We've got some cable ties, some clamps, elbows, everything we need to make it look like a stock install. We have another rubber cover right there. Saving the best for last. We have a throttle body adapter rubber there. Oh, we have our plexiglass window so we can see the uh, filter, how clean it is or dirty without having to take it out. We have our installation instructions. We have our sticker, s and sticker. Oh, and we have a part number listing in case we need to buy a new filter down the road or that type of thing. This air box is a monster. Look at that. That's massive. Take a closer look at the air filter. Now if that's not big, I don't know what is. This is the dry filter. I opted for the dry filter. It's the most efficient one. There you have it. All right, let's hop in the truck. We'll do some uh, before shots, get the install done, do some after shots, see if you guys can hear a difference, see if I can hear a difference, and overall see what the impressions are. Let's go. All right, we're outside now. I just wanted to address the elephant in the room. So there has been some criticism or skepticism on some of my previous videos when it comes to using a peelable paint. So hyper dip or Plasti Dip. Look over the Escalade. This Plasti Dip is five years old. It's been through every power washer or pressure washer in town. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And if we peel it off, it'll go back to its factory state and just look like a factory rim. So it's temporary, that's the whole point. I did the wheels on my ET4 because I didn't like the stock look. I haven't bought aftermarket rims yet. I am on a budget. I do have other things I gotta put my money towards, not just customizing vehicles, although I'd love to do that. But anyway, I don't think it looks bad. I took the time to do it right, and it's gonna last. I agree that painting is definitely the best permanent solution, but I didn't want that to be permanent. I didn't want this to be permanent. I didn't want this trim to be permanent. I wanted to be able to peel it all off and put it back to stock. Anyway, let's get on with the cold start here. So this is the factory intake. I'm not expecting a large rumble with a factory setup, but in case there is a louder noise when we put on the new intake, we'll be able to hopefully hear it. Okay, we're going to do our first acceleration test. We're gonna keep our ears open. Let's make everything fair. We'll put this in sport mode, two wheel drive, I'll leave the traction control on just so I'm not spinning tires and that's all you hear. We just want to hear the uh, noise of the throttle body and the intake. So here we go. This is with the factory intake. Okay. Both 
Hopefully you didn't scare anybody. Okay, that was from a standstill. Now we're going to do a rolling launch and then we'll get to the install. Everything's installed. It took about an hour to do the installation, but we had to wait two hours before reconnecting the battery. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, well let's do our first cold start with the new intake and then we'll go repeat the test that we did earlier now with the intake installed and hopefully we hear, see and feel a difference. Let's go. I'd say it sounds the same, no difference there, at least from what I can tell. Now that it's installed, let's uh, leave the neighborhood and see if there is just an initial difference. Let's listen for it. Oh, big time, absolutely. And that was like one quarter throttle. So let's uh, go repeat our tests we did earlier. Are you kidding me? On the way here, it was a huge difference. So we're just gonna get turned around, make sure we're in sport mode, two wheel drive, 
and then we'll do a launch from zero, see if we hear or feel anything different. I think I already know the answer. And then we'll do a view from the outside and then we'll do a, a rolling launch and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, we're in sport mode. We are two wheel drive. There is a ridge in the road, so if you saw the earlier footage, it looks like I was hitting a jump. It's okay, it's just a little hump in the road. No harm, no foul. The suspension can take it. Anyway, keep your ears open. Wow, much louder. Okay, now for the rolling launch, about the same speed, here we go. I lost traction there a little bit, that was uh, nice. Okay, I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but uh, I'm thrilled. I think it's a big improvement. And I did a lot of research on which intake I wanted to go with on this specific motor. And this s &B was only highly rated. They had nobody saying anything bad about it. The build quality is awesome. The fitment's perfect. It looks good. It sounds good. And uh, I have an exhaust coming, so that'll be in an upcoming video. So you want to check that out. But uh, if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. And we'll talk to you later.